Hey everyone, this is attorney Bianca Jordan from brazenlegal.com. Welcome to part one of the TPS series. In this series, I'll discuss the latest developments in TPS as well as options that people with TPS have to change their status. As always, this video is for general informational purposes only. It is not legal advice, but if you do need legal advice specific to your situation, you can visit brazenlegal.com contact to get started. So for the benefit of people that don't really know what TPS is, TPS stands for Temporary Protected Status. It is an immigration benefit given to foreign nationals who temporarily cannot return to their home country on account of a natural disaster such as an earthquake or a hurricane or a civil war or a health epidemic such as Ebola or another extraordinary condition that results in their inability to return to their home country. As of the date of this video, 10 countries currently have TPS, and over 300,000 immigrants are living in the United States in this status. TPS is kind of a misnomer in that it's not really an immigration status. Rather, it's a benefit that while you have it, you're allowed to work, you cannot be deported, you cannot be detained while um, you cannot be detained based on your immigration status, and you might also be able to obtain advanced parole which might be able to help certain people get green cards. TPS has been in the news over the past few years because this administration wants to end TPS for most of the countries that are under this program. I'll spare you the details of all of the um, pending lawsuits that are going on, but as of the date of this video, TPS for Haiti, El Salvador, Nicaragua, and Sudan has been allowed to continue until January 2nd, 2020. And as recently as March 29th, this administration also granted delayed enforced departure for Liberia. So people from Liberia in this status, their status now ends March 30th of 2020. Regardless of what ends up happening with all of these lawsuits, it's really important for people with TPS to speak with immigration attorneys to understand what their options are and to start applying for any benefits that they can get. One of the most common ones is a green card and I'll be talking about that in part two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share this with anyone you think that would benefit. And if you'd like to learn more about me and my law firm, please visit brazenlegal.com. Thanks for watching.